Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan and on today's episode, I'll be chatting with you guys about Corner Piece, released by Sean Ridgway and Steve Langston. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for spending some time with me today. So on today's episode, I won't be chatting with you guys about a mentalism release. This is in fact for uh, a magic trick. All right, this is a torn and restored card, a piece by piece uh, torn and restored card uh, effect. Now this is an effect that I first, you know, got you know so crazy about, you know, sometime in 19, 1993, I think, when I first saw David Copperfield perform uh, his version, right, with a baseball card uh, on his uh, Tornado of Fire special, I believe. Uh, and I, I think, actually, that that version was credited to uh, Chris Kenner, all right? And I think the title was called uh, Torn Asunder. Now, I was in love with that effect, right? It just really captured my imagination at the time. I was, I don't know, 14 years old or so. Um, do the math, okay? Um, but to me, that effect was something that was impossible, right? Because it was David Copperfield, right? And David Copperfield does things that I'm not supposed to be able to do. Moving forwards to 1996, right, uh, on World's Greatest Magic, when uh, Guy Hollingworth exploded into the magic scene uh, with his incredible version uh, called uh, Reformation. Right, and uh, it was released. Um, he wrote it up, I think, in uh, Drawing Room Deceptions as well, and that's where I actually learned it from. And since then, in the late 90s, early 2000s, I've been performing Reformation uh, really, really extensively. You know, it was an effect that I was really crazy about. I performed it at every opportunity I got, you know, for close up shows, uh, on stage, you know, for a camera, even for guests who come uh, and sit with me at my home as well. So uh, it was an effect that I really got a lot of mileage out of over the years. Along the way, I've also played with uh, several other versions as well. You know, I think there was uh, Reparation by John Lovick, um, Torn, you know, by Daniel Garcia. But I've, I've always just come back to Reformation. I think it just somehow suited my hands uh, and I was really comfortable with uh, the handling. So obviously, uh, having moved into performing as a stage mentalist, you know, I haven't performed this sort of effects uh, very often, you know, but it's still something that, you know, is really close to my heart, right? Because it was really an, an obsession of mine uh, at one point in time. So when Sean Ridgway contacted me on email uh, and asked if I would be interested to have a look at uh, this new thing of his, all right, along with uh, Steve Langston uh, called Corner Piece, I immediately said yes, right? Because it was this kind of an effect that I really loved. So what is Corner Piece? Well, it is, um, as you can see from the trailer, right? It is a, a torn and restored card, okay? Um, but it is done uh, piece by piece, okay? So a card is, you know, selected from a deck of cards, it is signed, uh, torn into quarters, and then it is stuck back together, just piece by piece. So what do you get when you purchase Corner Piece? Well, uh, it comes in this little tin over here, all right? And uh, inside the tin, you will receive um, the the gaff, okay, that you need to perform uh, this particular handling of this effect. Along with the gaff, you'll also be given the link to your instructional video. Now, the tutorial runs for two and a half hours. On the tutorial video, there will be uh, live performances uh, of um, both handlings by uh, both Sean as well as Steve. And then they will take you through everything you need to know about how to perform a uh, corner piece, you know, how to you know, get familiar with the gaff itself, how to bring it into play, how to perform all the various phases, you know, the tearing phases, the restoration phases, um, the cleanup as well. Everything is well shot. There are also scenes from uh, behind as well, so we can see exactly how the handling occurs during performance. They will also give you other ideas about how to perform corner piece uh, with various, you know, other kinds of presentations. So I've been playing around with corner piece for about a week or so. Um, I'm not that great at it yet, you know, because it is an effect um, that will require uh, quite a bit of practice, I think, uh, on your part, okay? But um, I thought it would also be good for you guys to see uh, a performance of the effect uh, in action, right? So I'm going to just try to perform the effect for you, and I hope I do it justice. So a performance of corner piece would go something like this. Uh, you have a spectator select a playing card from your deck of cards in use. It can be any card at all. Uh, you fold it up into quarters to crease it up really well. You have them sign across the face. Uh, you take the card back. And then at this point in time, you proceed to tear the card up. All right, so that's tear number one. And then uh, tearing it the other way as well, giving us four pieces of playing card. All right, so that's one, two, three, and four. And the idea is to take this card, 
and stick it back together piece by piece, bit by bit. Okay, so let's give this a go, all right? So if you watch uh, these two pieces really carefully, uh, we're just aligning the edges like that really carefully and immediately you'll see that they heal up like that. Okay, so those are the first two pieces to have been stuck back together. Okay, and we'll try it again with the second piece over here. Uh, just aligning the edges again and it too heals up just like that. Okay, and for those of you skeptics out there, it really is on there. All right. Now for the last and final piece, um, just for variety, right? We're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to stick it maybe higher up like that, I think. Just like that, okay? And then now we're going to tap the card down into place like that. So that's one edge that is healed up. And for the last and final edge, same thing, a little rub. And then you can give this away to your spectator as a little souvenir. So that was a performance of Corner Piece. You know, it's not the best um, that I can do. You know, I'm, I know I can get better with, with more practice, you know, and with more, you know, familiarity uh, with the handling. Um, but even from that performance, I think you can agree that this particular release uh, of this particular version of, of this kind of a piece by piece restoration effect does offer uh, some really nice uh, visuals, you know, that I have not seen um, any other version offer. So being only familiar with uh, Reformation, you know, I think I can only compare it to that. Okay, so I'm going to try to compare and contrast uh, these two uh, handlings of this piece-by-piece uh, -piece restoration effect and uh, hopefully that will give you some uh, idea, you know, about whether this is uh, something that you'd like to pick up for yourself. So a couple of points to note about this particular handling, right? Um, any card can be selected from the deck of cards, okay, uh, as opposed to Reformation, you know, where you kind of have to let's say, orchestrate a particular card to be chosen, okay? But in this handling, the deck of cards can be in play. You can perform any other of your favorite card routines and you can go into uh, this routine at any point uh, in your show, you know? So any card can be chosen. Uh, the card is folded up into quarters. Uh, just to crease it up, they can sign the face of the card, okay? So this is a handling where, you know, the card can be signed, right? Um, the main difference, I think, at this point, I can point out is that the routine is performed with the the back of the card facing outwards okay because uh, in reformation you see the face of the card you know even in the in the tearing sequence um you know and the the restoration phases right uh, in reformation you see the card's face right it's facing you as, as a, the audience member uh, in corner piece the the whole routine is done back outwards okay now it's not I don't think it's like a plus or a minus, you know, it probably just matters to magicians that we can see the face of the card. Um, but I thought it'd be great to point that out to you guys. Angles-wise, um, I don't think it's that much different from Reformation, you know, so if you have experience performing uh, these sorts of routines, right, torn and restored card routines um, in, in this kind of a fashion, the angles are pretty much the same, all right? You just need to have people in front of you, uh, and not, you know, watching you from, from behind. Otherwise, it's not really entertainment, it's, education. So Reformation has got a reputation for being um, quite difficult to perform, all right? And I, I agree, you know, even though I perform it, um, it will take some work, uh, quite a bit of work, in fact, to get it to look um, as good, you know, and as smooth as possible, right? Uh, corner piece, well, it offers you some really great visuals, you know, I mean, some of the, the restoration phases look really great, right? It looks exactly as how it would look. Uh, if you were to do it for real, you know, I mean, you literally just touch the pieces together and they just heal up, right? Um, there's not as much cover that is required uh, in this handling as opposed to Reformation because in Reformation, you know, it's, it's certain parts do require a bit of cover, um, but in this handling, the majority of the routine can be done with no cover um, at all. That being said, uh, Corner Piece, while it uses a gaff that will help you with those visual elements of the routine, the whole thing will still require practice, okay? Uh, it's not going to be something that you can, you know, immediately pick up and perform immediately, you know? I think you do need to get familiar with how the, the card itself uh, behaves in your hand um, and how uh, the gaff as well, you know, how it behaves in your hand as well. You, you really do need to get familiar and, you know, develop that, that accuracy, I think, that is required 
in order for you to perform the routine from start to finish okay because i think there are many little uh nuances you know little details i think that you will probably work out for yourself you know as you play with the routine you know how best to you know perform the routine so that it suits your hands the best so yes, it will take work on your part to get this to look as good as possible. You know, I'm not there yet, you know, by any means, um, but I do intend to work on it some more and uh, try to get it to look as good as possible. So what I like about this um, particular handling is that it offers you the opportunity to kind of customize how you wish to perform the effect. You know, and what I mean by that is, well, in, in Reformation, it's kind of like a fixed sequence. You know, you do need to follow the moves exactly uh, to bring about the effect, right? But in corner piece, it offers you the well flexibility, I think, to perform the routine uh, based on how comfortable you are with certain moves or what phases you like as well. You know, uh, in fact, Sean, as well as Steve, they both teach their own handling. So they both have different handlings uh, for this effect. Uh, and in fact, after playing around with it, you know, after a while, I kind of have developed my own little little small bits of handling as well to to make it play a little bit better for me you know like you know for example the counting of the pieces you know and the and the, the the restorations right uh, there are little bits here and there that you can kind of customize uh, and perform it in the way that you most prefer so i think the most difficult part about this routine is um the last phase okay so i think the first phase where you know the tearing sequence you do need to work on that uh, to get it to look convincing and smooth. The first and second restorations um, are pretty all right. You know, I'm sure most of you can handle it, you know, but I think the last phase, all right, the last piece, you know, the, the full restoration of the whole card at the end, that will take a little bit of practice. Uh, well, maybe not a bit. Uh, for me, at least, I think it will take quite a bit of practice, you know, because I found it a little bit um, uh, knacky. You know, I can't get it 100% of the time to look as good as I want it to, you know. So uh, if you do get this, uh, do note that um, I think the last phase, at least uh, for me, uh, based on my experience, is going to be uh, a little bit knacky. And you might need to rework certain things so that it suits your hands uh, a little bit better. In terms of cleanup, you know, uh, at the end of the routine, you know, uh, in Reformation, you are kind of, well, clean, I suppose. Uh, you do need to ditch stuff all right uh, and the same goes for this particular handling as well um, so i think it's not that much different from uh, reformation you know uh, to me at least right in my opinion so uh, there is still some cleanup that needs to be done you do need to be comfortable i think to either um, clean up uh, immediately you know or be comfortable enough to hold out all right and wait for the opportune moment uh, to do your cleanup but all in, you know, I think this is a great addition to the piece-by-piece piece restoration effect. You know, it's, um, it's a very practical solution. Uh, I think the gaff is uh, quite, well, quite well made as well, quite well designed. Uh, it will last you pretty long. You know, it's going to be something that will, you know, can take quite a bit of beating. You know, I mean, I've practiced a lot over the past week and um, it has started to show some signs of wear and tear. But, you know, it, it is a hardy gaff, right? It's not something that's going to break. And even then, I think, uh, I, while it's not discussed uh, on the video, um, once I looked at the prop itself and examined it, I, I believe I can, um, you know, well, how do I say this? Um, transfer, you know, uh, the gaff to, uh, to make a new one for myself. I think it, it's easily done. So yeah, you know, uh, great visuals, you know, uh, very practical. You know, there's nothing that you need to set up uh, per se, you know, it's always going to be ready to go once you have it on you. Um, it's easy to get into it. Um, well, the performing of it will take a, a bit of work, you know, especially the last phase. Uh, getting out of it as well is pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite a, uh, a practical uh, working solution for the piece by piece restoration effect. So before I go, I want to thank uh, Sean Ridgeway for really kindly uh, letting me have a look at uh, Corner Piece, for sending me this uh, unit as well for me to have a look at, for me to learn, uh, and for me to play around with and hopefully perform one day as well. Uh, if you'd like to pick up a copy of Corner Piece for yourselves, uh, do look up the link in the description box down below uh, on Penguin. Alright, but that's all for today's episode, guys. I do hope uh, I've introduced you to something uh, interesting and fun as well. Hope you enjoyed the episode as well. And of course, for those of you who are celebrating Chinese New Year this season, uh, 
All right, guys, so till the next episode, uh, do take care of yourselves, stay safe, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on the next episode of Nick Tan Chats.